Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Thursday the 14th of February 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, you will be first. So let's see, let's get you an angel card. One card for Aries on Valentine's Day. What can we expect? One card for Aries. Alright, calling in your soulmate. Very nice. Bottom of the deck is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And one card from our goddess guidance. One card of advice. Thank you. Alright, and let's Tara. Fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. And as always, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring in your soulmate. Let's get three cards for, for, or for Aries. Sorry, there's four here, but I am going to take them. And the person Aries is dealing with. Bottom of the deck, Six of Swords. Moving away from a situation that was um, difficult. It is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Rods. All right, bottom of the deck after that is Wheel, or wheel is the World. So ending cycles, moving into new ones, letting old cycles go and beginning new um, and allowing old relationships to fall away so you can call in that soulmate of yours. Um, your guys is shared energy, moving out of a situation, moving away from an emotionally uh, hurtful relationship. This is um, moving away from the emotional hurt that was in your heart, your mind, and your soul. Uh, the swords, as we know, represent thoughts. So you're allowing those thoughts of hurt to escape. You're allowing all the things in the past to um, to be released with judgment and temperance here. This is a relationship that you've already had in this lifetime, and it's coming back for a second shot, a second time around. But you had to release that emotional pain um, of the first go around and let that go before the wheel could turn in your favor and move this person in. Now that you have allowed that to happen, they are gonna come in very quickly, very passionately, and let you know just how they feel for you. Let you know that um, you are who the, they want to be with. They just had some karma they had to deal with before they could um, come forward. But continue to do your affirmations and visualizations. Aries, you're feeling very guarded though. When they return, you're going to be a little bit standoffish. You're going to feel like, is this for real? Can I trust this person? This has happened before. Um, how do I know that this is the real deal this time? Because I just got over all that heartache. I just got over the pain of the past. I don't want to let you in the door again if this is all it's, if you're going to lead me right back to heartache. So you're, you're standing a little bit, you're a little standoffish and a little on guard, but that is okay. Um, this person is having an aha moment, or this is you, Aries, one of the two. One of you is being awakened um, in a brutal fashion, not in a bad way. I didn't mean brutal as in bad, but it's an abrupt, like, in your face, here it is. Oh my God, I can't believe I let them go in the first place. Um, when the two of you split up, uh, it caused you to have to deal with a lot of hurt um, of your past. It really caused you to have to go in deep and heal on a soul level deeper than you ever had before and that hurt um, and you're not too quick to jump back into allowing them into that space again 
um, you did, however, um, gain a lot of wisdom in this time of hermit. Uh, you gained a lot of healing. That hair was driving me nuts. But um, you're currently in this phase. You're currently following your own light, following your own path, um, finding healing, finding solace, finding um, peace within your own silence. And that is beautiful for you. And you're coming out of this just more confident than ever, uh, making your own coin, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, nurturing everything in your life um, that, that you now... Uh, realizes such a blessing to you. Let's see what the judgment card is here for. Why is judgment here for Aries? The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so um, this judgment, when you broke up the first time, it caused you to, like I said, go within, to focus on yourself, to invest in yourself, and you're just coming out looking amazing. With You're going from the Nine to the Queen. Um, in this time of the hermit. Uh, the hermit <clears throat> has been clarified by the lovers. So, yeah, most definitely. You're going within to see if you want to give this person a second chance. Do you want to choose love? And give them the chance to prove themselves? <clears throat> Excuse me, I have such a bad cold. Or are you going to choose to continue just to love yourself and, and to nurture yourself? Um, it's being clarified by the Queen of Cups, so you are going to allow your heart in this uh, in this decision, and you are going to follow your heart. You have unconditional love for this person, no doubt about it. Um, this person is also realizing how much they love you in this time of silence, as well as you. You could have been the one that left somebody, um, Aries, and now you are returning to them. You had this aha moment, and you're moving towards them. Um, but for the majority of you, I see this as you waiting on somebody. The person you're dealing with, they may come towards you offering you um, a very little love offer. Maybe offering you not as much as what you expected. And that's kind of why you're on guard. You're like, uh, is that all you got? Like, what is this all about? So, uh, and that's just because this person possibly has still energy in their space that is not quite fully gone yet but they are on the right track yep here it is the moon in reverse they do still have somebody in their life so they can't fully make you a love offer they offer their love they love you yes they do that is true this is a soulmate but they have not quite finished purging out that extra energy so this needs to be done remain single in this nine of pentacles while they purge out this energy. You don't want to create more karma for you or your person um, is what my angels are saying. You can do whatever you want. It's a choice of free will, but um, just know that they haven't gotten rid of all that energy. They're reaching out to you out of fear that you're moving on without them because you look fabulous, Aries. You have done the work. You have put in the time you have invested in yourself and they see you that you're creating new things. They see you that you are giving birth to new ideas, that you are starting new things and they want to be a part of that. But they have to finish weeding their own garden. They have to finish purging their own um, energy. Uh, they have to get people out of their life that no longer uh, serve their purpose and they are doing that. So don't, I don't want to want you to shun them off, but just know that there is still somebody in their immediate space, but they are working on removing that energy so they can be with you, Aries. All right, Seven of Pentacles. Why is that here? Yeah, Three of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. <laughs> I love when my angels confirm what I just said. So they still have that extra energy. They have to continue to purge out this third party, this cheating energy. So beware of this. You do not want to keep creating bad karma. When you are with somebody else that has already got somebody that creates karma. So allow them to purge this energy out. Allow them to end the relationship in the proper way. Allow them to uh, get their energy back on track. To get themselves back into balance. Allow them to do healing. And this relationship will come back together. I promise you, because this is a twin flame relationship. 
but this time around it has to be done the right way yeah they're gonna go within they're gonna no longer battle their internal uh, struggles they're facing their demons they're going within they're following their light and they're gonna find healing peace uh, tranquility they're gonna find their balance they're gonna find themselves in this time and they will return for you because you are calling them in and once you release this energy of the past you allow those thoughts to be gone instead of focusing on when are they gonna get here where are they at what are they doing release all those and that is when uh, they will come in very quickly but they have to deal with their karmic partner first and that is what they are doing this week so be patient with them uh, if it's the other way around they need to be patient with you if you're cross watching this relationship will come back into balance look at that bottom of the deck is the star healing divine timing so uh, this is going to come back into fruition uh, it's just going to take some time uh, it needs to be done the right way this time and and that's how it's going to go so be patient Aries or cross watchers whoever is the one that is waiting but don't um, don't get stagnant waiting you can move forward and leave a heart space open for them but don't be, get stuck waiting for them to return all right Leo's you have let your friends help bottom of the deck is children so your children could be affecting your love life or theirs thank you could be dealing with a Virgo Virgo had the same card purification it's time to clear out your energy it's time to cleanse and detoxify your body and mind so it's time for an emotional detox as well as a physical detox so let's see what we got for Leo's here Oh, way too many, but they're all major kind of I gotta keep them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Leo, I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. Okay, your bottom of the deck is the lovers in reverse. The alchemist in rever er in the upright. The star. The king of wands. Hello, Leo. The world. The ace of swords. Whoa. Well, obviously that's not your final one because I haven't got your partner out yet actually no this is I don't even need to draw your partner's energy because I'm doing yours a little different I guess I'm following what my guides say thank you and this is uh, I'm gonna do a different spread for yours okay so look at all holy holy hell that's all I gotta say about that Leo's all right, I'm going to pull my uh, clarifiers first. Okay, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Thank you, Spirit. And why is Justice here? And the wheel. Oops. And the Queen of Cups. And the Hangman. And the Prince of Cups. Thank you. Okay. So, Leos, you guys have a new beginning being gifted to you from the universe. Um, a new beginning with abundance and love and fortune and um, wealth in more ways than just money it is something that you have manifested into the reality it is something that is coming for you um, it is your good karma being returned to you I've said this I don't know how many times you guys are probably tired of me saying it but um, right now we are in the time of karmic pay we have to pay for our karma whether it be good or bad it is that time to release it so in order for us to release it we have to pay for it we have to pay our karmic debts um, and those who have good karma out there it also comes back to them so you are receiving this time of good karma you're manifesting this new beginning this uh, gift from the universe that's going to finally finally shine down on our poor Leo friends because you guys have had a rough go of it um, financially emotionally um, the time is now for you guys which is a very welcome sight I'm sure 
things are going to come into balance. Things are going to finally level out. Things are going to finally go on your side. Some of you are facing legal um, battles, legal issues. They are coming out in your favor. Some of you are ending marriages and uh, moving forward, going to focus on yourself. Some of you are uh, just finding a partner that you are meant to be with. You guys are the yin and the yang. The balance that you uh, find in each other is the balance of the universe. You guys complete each other in a way you've never found before and that's absolutely beautiful because you're now walking your truth. You're speaking your truth. You're living in your truth and walking your true path and um, doing your true soul's purpose and that's what the, uh, the sword she holds represents. Walking and speaking your truth, not caring what others think, what others say, it's your freaking sword, and you're gonna and you're gonna do it your way, and that's bringing you balance, peace, love, prosperity. Finally, your way in the world is coming um, into balance, and it's bringing in love for you very fast as well. For those of you who um, are looking for love, it is coming in for you very quickly, very beautifully, very, very emotionally balanced person you guys have had some doozies in the last couple of years this person is not that person this person has their shit together very well uh, then you have the wheel with the lovers I love this absolutely love it your good karma is coming in with the wheel in the upright the ebb and flow of life see ups and downs and the up swing of the wheel is bringing you in love um, it's bringing you in a soulmate this is most definitely uh, fated for you. This is a relationship that is meant to be, that is meant to come in for you at this time, and is meant to bring pure love and joy and, um, and happiness to your life. You are very balanced, very um, emotionally. Uh, you've done the work. You've done the healing. You have really, really dug in deep and purified your soul. You have done the work to heal those wounds of the past and it's just put you right into balance put you right on the top and you're feeling confident you're looking great you're feeling amazing um, people are drawn to you your warmth you can walk into a room and people just feel your presence in a positive um, you have so much to offer somebody and they are people are like I mean you're gonna have more than one person interested in you um, and your part of your draw, part of the reason why people are so drawn to you right now is because you're enlightened. The divine has uh, given you the uh, gift of the third eye being open. You're enlightened to your gifts um, and you are really living enlightened love right now. And it just draws in people amazingly. You are throwing traditions out the window. You're no longer living by the old rules, the old traditions, the old way of doing things. You've, Like I said, you've been enlightened by the divine. They've woke you. And um, you're now doing things more on a spiritual level uh, and no longer allowing these old school thoughts and um, restricting thoughts that, you're ha that you had in the past. Uh, you're, those are gone. No longer worried about it. And that is the second time the Knight of Cups comes in. But this is, like I said, bringing in love. Bringing in true love, real love. Um, and this is an amazing, amazing thing for you. You are going to hear from somebody you've been waiting on a second chance from. This person is somebody that you have been with in the past, whether it be this life or uh, past lives. But this is a soulmate, twin flame connection. And this is amazing. Um, and it's a strong connection and I know that because I was told to do your reading different um, you don't have to worry about your partner's energy Leo because you guys are directly mirroring each other you're in that place of your twin flame journey where you are on a direct mirror back and forth you look at them they look at you it is completely uh, a reflection so they are going through the exact same thing you both have to clear out your energy um, if you're dealing with a Virgo, especially because Virgo got this as well. Um, if you're dealing with a twin flame Virgo, this most definitely is reconciliation for you. Clear that old energy out and allow that relationship to come back in because they're returning for you. Um, they don't have to be a Virgo. Um, this is just any twin flame relationship that you feel this is describing you. If you have recently been 
um, experiencing these energies, then hello Twin Flame, hello Reunion. Ask your angels to help bring the two of you together. Ask your angel friends for help in purifying your mind, body, and soul so that the energy can be made clear because that's what our angels help us do. Ask them for help in cleansing and detoxifying your space, your energy, and allow this really in uh, allow this new energy in for those of you who are new looking for love and not in the twin flame energy that person is coming in for you that soulmate is coming um so even if you're not in the twin flame journey you all you leos that this uh energy resonated with you congratulations because you guys got soulmates coming in as well very positive for leo hello yay i'm so happy for you guys it's about damn time you guys have been through the ringer. All right. I just need a minute. That was strong energy. And I will do Sagittarius's. Whew. All right. Saggies. Let's see what you got coming in on February 14th, 2019 for my Sagittarius friends. All right. Let's go. Sagittarius. Oh, whoa, that's way too many. Okay. Release your ex came out. Forgiving and learning. Passion and reconciliation also come out for you guys, but I am not going to take four. Oh my goodness, four just came out again. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. One card, please, for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 14th, 2019. Please and thank you. All right, there's the one. For yourself, you are also dealing with a soulmate. <clears throat> it's time to take back control of your life, Sagittarius. Let's see what our goddesses have for guidance today as well. All right. So you guys have, it's time to take back control of your life. Release yourself from any old energy. Um, I... I've been saying this, the 19th is a beautiful full moon in Virgo. Release all that energy. It is a beautiful moon to release to. So look for your release ritual. Um, get all that ready for um, the 19th and allow yourself to cleanse your energy. Free your energy space. Also, if you're dealing with addictions, um, drugs, alcohol, food, gambling, whatever it is, it's time to take back control of your life because it's affecting um, uh, your energy. Your uh, wisdom card for the day is you have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Go outside and allow your energy to soak up the beautiful, um, loving energy of Mother Earth, of Gaia. And that will help you to clear your energy space. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we got going on for you. Three cards for you, three cards for your person. I'm still mind blown by Leo's reading. Sagittarius, thank you. Strength. The lovers. The, oops, Nine of Swords, that was me. And the person that you are dealing with. Who is Sagittarius dealing with on Valentine's Day? Ace of Cups, beautiful. Two of Cups. And the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. Clarified by the Four of Cups and the Magician in the Upright. All right. I absolutely love this reading already. I can already see it. All right. So somebody's going to come in very quickly, Saggy. This could also be you moving towards someone very quickly. Um, just getting on your horse and going, not even thinking about it. Uh, heading out there and just really putting yourself out there is what I am seeing um, you could be getting some like Valentine's Day nookie for some of you, <laughs> but, um, that's just a side note. 
Oh my god, I almost said side piece. That was horrible. Okay, so <laughs> Knight of Wands, clarified by the Magician. You are in control right now. You may not believe it because you may be waiting on somebody, but you, you and you alone are creating the future outcome of this relationship. The Magician, you are doing the magic behind the scenes right now, so watch what you're thinking, saying, um, because what we think we create and um, you're having doubt right now. Don't do that, please, 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 please. Um, have faith in this because right now you're focusing on what isn't going right. You're focusing on why they aren't here, who they are with, and it is blocking this person from coming towards you. So make sure you are looking at the cup the universe is handing you. Be thankful, do your affirmations, and believe that you are bringing this person back into your life. You are creating this manifestation and they're going to return very quickly, but you have to believe it. You can't just say it. That's not enough. You have to believe it, Sagittarius. So free yourself from those negative thoughts. Free yourself from um, thinking that you don't deserve this or that they're not coming because they are. You're just blocking them right now. So make sure you're focusing on that cup that the universe is giving you that is full of blessings. You do have the strength to get through this separation for those of you in separation. For those of you who are just truly looking for new love, um, take the bull by the horns and go out there. It is it is out there and waiting for you, for you, those of you super single. For those of you who are um, wanting to be with someone or are waiting for someone to return, remember you have control of the situation. Like I said with the uh, magician, you have the strength to overcome this self-doubt, this uh, this um, imbalance you're, you have in your life right now. You could uh, be doubting it because you could have been the third party Sagittarius um, and it really caused you to be out of balance, caused you to um, be self-conscious, caused you to worry about whether they would return to you or not. But this person is your true love, your soulmate. Um, this is meant to be. This is a relationship that is fated to uh, be somebody you're going to be with for the end of time. Uh, this person or you, whoever is the one that is uh, returning to somebody, they are going to choose. You guys are going to choose each other. Could be dealing with a Gemini, a Leo. Um, let's see, or a Virgo. That's all the major arcana I'm seeing. Illumination, sun, the beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. So yes, yes, yes. This person is going to come back. Your path is being enlightened, Sagittarius, to the way back to this person. You have to go through some things. You have to do some things. You have to heal some things. You're being guided to move forward. Don't stay and wait any longer. Free yourself from feeling like you have to be stuck right here where they left you so they can find you again when they return. I promise you, in this day and age, you could go anywhere in the world and they'll find you if they truly want to. So move forward. Um, quit staying in in um, pause, waiting for them while they're living their life. Uh, they are going to return to you. And once you begin to move, they're going to follow you. So as long as you stay stuck and staying and waiting on this person, they're staying and waiting where they're at. Once you move forward, they will follow you and come back towards you. The, the sun is illuminating the way for you. It is bringing things to light in regards to this lover, as well as how to get to that lover. Certain steps, certain things you have to do. You guys are meeting in your dreams, though. This is thinking about this person a lot, daydreaming. Um, thinking about being together. That's perfect. You have to think this relationship into fruition. Because when you actually feel it with your heart, when you actually sit there and think about them, daydream, fantasize, whatever you want to call it, you are bringing that thought into reality. You are feeling what it feels like to be with them, to think, you know, when you're thinking about them. So keep those positive. And um, you guys are most definitely meeting in, in your dreams. So if you're missing them, ask your angels to bring the two of you back together in your dreams. And they are going to reach out to you with the Eight of Wands. They are communicating you. They are communicating with you through your dream state. Through the um, at night when the two of you go to sleep, you are meeting in in the 5D. They are also going to reach out communication, or you are to them in the 3D as well. They want this new beginning with you, Sagittarius. They love you. This is unconditional love. They just can't offer it to you just yet. 
you are their soulmate you have the two of cups under the lovers soulmate 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 but they can't offer you the soulmate relationship just yet it's in the reverse they will flip it in the upright but it's in the reverse right now because they have a lot of healing to do and until they complete that healing they can't offer you this soulmate relationship but they sure have it for you they have a soulmate relationship waiting for you you just have to be a little more patient and to know that you have the strength to make it through this time of separation from this person okay bottom of the deck justice things are going to work out for you they're going to work out fair and balanced and be just how they're meant to be they <clears throat> are getting out of a situation where they felt trapped with the eight of swords in reverse they felt stuck trapped in their mind and their thoughts in a situation with a that was outside of you so you were the third party in this situation with the six of pentacles um, you're finding balance in this time of separation you have the strength to get through this they have this big old cup of love to offer you and they are now realizing that they can do it they don't have to stay stuck where they have been they're realizing their love for you not that they ever doubted it but they now realize that it is right in front of them and they can have it in this life they were doubting themselves um, they were thought they were gonna be stuck here forever they had a lot of doubt as well but they are realizing that if they invest in themselves, if they follow their own dreams, if they follow their own wants and wishes instead of living for everyone else, that they can have this two of cup love. So just be a little bit more patient because they are coming, because the illumination is illuminating their path to you as well. But first they must heal over this heartache and this hurt <clears throat> of this ten of pentacles, the ending of a cycle with a family. So this person is leaving a family situation, um, a spouse with children, uh, for a lot of them, uh, for some of them, they are going against family wishes like parents, grandparents, however that fits. But there is some healing that needs to happen. The four comes after the three of swords. So it's the, it's the truth of walking their own path is going to need healing of their mind, body, and soul after they leave this ten of pentacles. The ten is the end of a cycle, so this is coming to an ending. They very possibly could be going through a divorce or starting a divorce soon <clears throat> yeah so um that is what is stopping the two of you from coming together just yet but it is going to come together just watch your thoughts do not create this oh woe is me um feeling remember to be so thankful for that cup that cup that your partner is holding that is coming to you very soon be grateful for that do gratitude to that Thank the universe for this blessing. Um, instead of those three of cups and the third party that you're focusing on, manifest this ace of cup into your life, Sagittarius. Free yourself from those negative thoughts. Free yourself from those restrictions you're putting on yourself. Um, and go outside and Mother Nature is going to do a wonder on you. It's going to rejuvenate your, your mind, body, and soul. But most definitely, just um, do not stay stuck. When you move forward, they move forward free yourself from limiting yourself and um, love is going to come in for you this person is going to come back for you saggies so all right fire signs i hope you have a beautiful valentine's day i send you all love light and god bless